Hello everyone, how are you today? Welcome to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. In this reading, we are going to find out what significant transformation will change your life. All right, so this is a pick a pile reading. We've got four piles to pick from. I will put timestamps in the comment section here. Um, but for now, if you can just focus in on a stone or a pile. And uh, we're going to get right into the reading here. So the first pile is amethyst. Second pile is yellow citrine. Third pile is green citrine. And fourth pile is rose quartz. So really focus in and use your intuition. Now, you don't only have to pick one pile. You can pick two. You can pick three. Or you can pick four. Whatever resonates for you, do that. Whatever your intuition calls out for you to do, please do that. So take a moment and really see what resonates for you, where your intuition is calling you, which pile it is that you need to choose. Now, if you are new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Otherwise, we're going to get right into this. Pile number one, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. So those of you that have chosen Amethyst, this is your reading. All right, let's get right into it here. Okay, so these are energies that represent your current situation. And we're going to kind of move forward with this reading as we go along and see what, um, you know, significant transformations need to happen in order for you to move forward with your life. Okay. So let's get right into it here. I've got moon cards. All right. So first moon card we've got make time for self-love pile one and talk less and feel more. All right. So hmm, what are we getting here with this? So making time for self-love pile number one. When's the last time you made time? For yourself to love yourself hmm have you been trying to please other people all the time when you're not quite happy with yourself now I feel like there's a difference between wanting to live in a positive way and spiritual bypassing when you refuse to acknowledge your feelings especially okay self-love is prescribed here by spirit guides and pile number one you can't fool the universe so pretending to be happy when you're sad will get you nowhere rather you need to deal with your feelings and the that's the only way okay that is the only way in order for you to move forward that transformation has to happen if you're people pleasing, you need to stop. Stop pleasing everyone else. You need to please yourself. Okay? Think about what's going on and why you're doing it. If you're in an unbalanced relationship, address the issue. Okay? I feel that you really need to focus on self-love here. And I feel like this is the biggest transformation for you, pile number one. Okay, so the next card here we're getting is talk less, feel more. Okay, so I feel that the danger in your current situation is that you're going to be really good at starting things and less good at finishing them. That's what I'm getting here. You talk more and you do less. I don't know if this is resonating for some of you, but this is what Spirit God is letting me know here right now. And this card suggests that you need to talk less and feel more. Feel more. Exactly what it says on here. Okay. So I feel that Rather than telling people what you now feel 
or rather than telling people what you want now, feel your feelings about what it is that you actually want. What comes up for you, pile number one? Do you believe in yourself or not? Perhaps you started strong but are running out of steam, right? If so, go within and ask yourself how committed you are to your goals. Remember that it's okay to change your mind. People do that all the time. I do it, right? So you need to make time for self-love. And again, talk less and feel more. Take a step back. If someone asks you a question instead of right away reacting or responding, take a moment. Feel it out. Or if someone needs an answer to something, give, give yourself some time to answer. Feel, how, feel the moment for what it is. Okay, so we've got some more cards here. Let's see what we're getting. Six of Hearts. Page of hearts. Wow, lots of hearts here. Pile number one. And we're getting the wheel. Okay. I'm just going to pop these over here on the side. All right, six of hearts. What are we getting with the six of hearts here? And the page of hearts. That's, that's a lot of hearts here, pile number one. Wow. Okay, six of hearts and the wheel. Okay, six of hearts. Again, I feel like there's a lot of talking and less feeling here. So talking or thinking about the past. Okay, so past is coming up here. Talking or thinking about the past introduces it into the present where it continues to create your future, pile number one. Are you maybe stuck in the past? You know, some people have a hard time moving forward when they're caught in the past, right? Now, the Six of Hearts wants to write a new narrative, okay? It is time to let go of the stories you have been telling yourself. That's what this card is saying. All right. Let go of the stories you've been telling yourself, pile number one. Every time you talk or think about your past, you bring it into your present and limit your future. And that's what's happening. A practice belief has become entangled with your everyday way of being, causing you to react in certain ways that feel familiar. Okay. Are you feeling this way, pile number one? If this belief is working for you, great. Keep going. Really, truly, keep going. However, this card suggests something is no longer working and it is time to leave it in the past where it actually belongs. Okay? There is no new awareness of an ability or characteristic that was limited due to expectations, convention, or familial pressure. You will be victorious in bringing about harmonious change. You just need to let go of the past here, pile number one. Why is the past still lingering? Why is it still there in your life? What is going on with this past here? Page of hearts, innocence. See, this is, says the past. This is innocence. This is a breakthrough. So look at that. This is heavy energy. I'm already feeling it. Okay. So page of hearts is asking you to come back to your heart and you will see the world through new eyes. Pile number one. Look at that. Look at this picture. She's open arms and allowing the energy to flow through and to come into her arms. The page of heart asks you to rediscover your value and your worth. The attention you are paying to someone else's needs and opinions is zapping your self-confidence and esteem. It's zapping it all out of you. Each time you think about them, a part of your power goes to them and self-doubt creeps in. So whoever or whatever 
is causing you this this past whatever is coming up here for you pile number one you need to release this energy okay you don't you need to keep your, your power I feel like this is almost like a dream for you. Okay, maybe it's somebody that's holding you back, someone from your past, someone in your present now that needs to be let go. Something that happened. Okay, so just remember their rules don't apply here. Those rules, those past rules don't apply. Fish can fly, trees can shine, and so can you. Fish. Here in the card, right? Look at this tree is shining. You are the tree. Okay, burst the bubble. Reclaim your balance and be ready to breathe in the surroundings in the world of your creation, pile number one. This is a new beginning or a boundary shift in an existing relationship or moment of your life or a situation in your life dream a new dream and know how worthy you are of love pile number one i feel like you need some self-reflection or you need to study things on just learn about self-love read books on self-love that's what i'm getting here from spirit guides all right and we've got the wheel card here so there's a breakthrough about to happen here for you so here is a great leap forward in your life, pile number one. Just as the invention of the wheel was a breakthrough for, the, for humanity, this is an illuminating, defining time for you. Okay. So the wheel encourages you to embrace new, exper new experiences. And now is the time to try all those things that you have always wanted to do. Some, some doors in your life, pile number one, are closing, but others are opening and new opportunities are presenting themselves to you. All right. This is actually happening. Embrace change and look to the future rather than lamenting on the old, reminiscing on the old. This card may be asking you to move on from a situation or an individual you have outgrown but are hanging on to tightly for some reason, whatever that reason is. The wheel is constantly turning. What has worked in the past is now not working, okay? Your instincts are connected to the rhythm of the universe. Listen to your inner voice pile number one to find a way forward. Take a breath and relax for the best is yet to come into your life. Get ready for it pile number one because it is going to happen. Okay, so we are getting be authentic, be real and true to who you are and how you feel. Wow, this is so much about you being true and real to yourself and being authentic. Look at that. Relationship patterns. It takes strength to recognize the need for change. I just love sometimes how these cards come together. Because I shuffle them before I do this reading. And just put them in a pile without even knowing what's going to happen here. Okay. So for this to come up is like really, really neat. I have to let you know that. Okay. So... I'm so sorry my I keep banging into my my camera here. Okay. So be authentic. So authenticity is important in all relationships here pile number 1. Sometimes it might seem easier to stifle your feelings and do something you normally wouldn't do. Right? Be candid. And be who you truly are, pile number one. Accept others for who they are. And don't feel the need to change yourself or anyone else for that matter. Okay, your confidence may not be where it needs to be. Or you may have lost the ability to connect with yourself. You have adapted yourself to fit into someone else's ideas or given up your choices to make another one happy. Okay, so you need to stop hiding and allow your true self to be seen. Recognize your needs, your emotions, and your joys. 
Take care of yourself so you can present the real you in mind, body, and spirit. All right, pile number one. That's what I'm feeling here. Like that authenticity is missing. That real authentic you. And you need to allow that to come out. You need your true self to be seen. Okay. Stop hiding and allow your true self to be seen. Recognize your needs, your emotions, and your joys. Take care of yourself so you can present the real you. Okay, this includes taking care of your health. Get plenty of sleep. Manage your stress and make sure you're eating well. That's what I'm getting with this one here. And then relationship patterns. It takes strength to recognize the need for change. Okay, consider the patterns that drive you to, to attract certain people into your life. You may find the next person you meet has similar qualities to your last partner, right? These are patterns. This is what you are energetically attracting. Okay, so once you learn the lesson that you're supposed to learn, because the universe throws lessons at us, you will be able to attract healthier outcomes, healthier situations in love, career, any walk, of life, anything that you're desiring. Okay, it might be helpful to share the disappointment or pain from the past with somebody, whether you're from, whether it's from your current relationship or another period of your life. Be honest with yourself and address situations as they happen. Feel things, right? Be honest with yourself. Acknowledge that you can no longer stifle your feelings, nor your strengths, nor your triggers. See your past relationships as opportunities to grow and figure out what makes you happy. You've been a better, you have a better chance at a lasting relationship, at a lasting career, and a lasting anything when you have self-awareness. Avoid idealizing past relationships, past anything as they hold they hold influence over your future outcomes, okay? Love will not magically make you feel worthy or happy unless you have achieved those values for yourself. Love of career, love of a person, love of a certain situation, love of home, okay? So all in all, you know, I feel that You know, things things do need to change for sure. But I think for you, pile number one, self-love is big. Big, big, big. So you really need to work on self-love. And that is your message here from Spirit Guide. Okay? So I think the moment you start doing that, you'll see huge transformations start to take place in your life. You're going to see things changing. And they're going to be big changes and sometimes you know it's nice to even take small steps towards this direction self-love love yourself pile number one and that is your message today thank you so much for watching pile number two how are you today those of you that chose yellow citrine this is your reading all right let's just put this over here okay so we're trying to find out what significant transformation will change your life pile number two all right let's get right into it here so we're going to start with the moon cards so i'm getting new moon in libra you are loved And new moon in Pisces, attune to the divine. All right. Let's see what spirit guides want to relay to you here in this message. All right. So let's get right into it here. So with the new moon in Libra, know that you are loved. 
Spirit guides are letting you know that there's new or renewed love energy around you. Be it familial, platonic, romantic, or otherwise. Okay, there's some sort of renewed love energy around you right now. Pile number two. Whether you're single or attached, a new personal or professional relationship, relationship cycle is starting for you. Okay, open your heart and be loving. The trick is to get involved with people you like or even love. Okay, be that on a personal or platonic level. If you want a new friend, pile number two, you're on the right track. For a money or work question, a new start is highly likely for you. And in love, the sky is the limit if you react to it with love. Okay, pile number two. And with the new moon in Pisces, attune to the divine. All right, so you have the opportunities to slip into the flow of life now. When that happens, you want what is happening. And what is happening is what you want, if that makes sense to you. Pile number two. And I feel some of you are manifesting. Your manifesting is working perfectly. Spirit guides want you to know that. Just make sure that you stay attuned to your higher self and you'll be well on your way to feeling blissfully happy and in tune with your dreams, pile number two. Okay, spirit guides are also letting you know to meditate. That's going to be big here. Meditation is the best way to connect with your higher self. So practice it if you know how. Or try learning from an online video. YouTube has tons of videos. Above all else, be kind to yourself and to others. All right, the more you can believe that it all is well, the more all will be well for you. Pile number two. So your manifestations. It's amazing. Spirit guides want you to know they're hearing your prayers your desires, your wishes. So you're a true manifester, pile number two. All right. Let's see what else we're getting here for you. So Knight of Angels, which is a watcher. Queen of Angels, visionary, and three of stars. Okay. So, Knight of Angels. All right, the Watcher here. So you can determine much of what you would and wouldn't like through observation, I feel like. See the light shining from this man's face or his eyes? Right? This person is able to determine a lot throughout, well, through his observation, right? Watch, learn, and direct your energy accordingly. You're an observer. You're a watcher. Okay. So the Knight of Angels is a hallmark for sudden change or chaos. So hold on to your halo. Pile number two. Hang on. Buckle those seatbelts. Because you're going through a transformation. Okay. Big transformation. And this transformation will shift anything that is holding you away from the fullness of love. Love is all around you. And it may arrive as a world as a whirlwind, I can't even say that word, whirlwind romance or friendship. Someone may sweep you off your feet, but then leave just as suddenly. Okay, don't take their departure personally though. This could be also a job that might come suddenly and then all of a sudden it doesn't pan out. And spirit guides are letting you know, don't take this personally. Okay, this arrival is to help you reopen your heart. 
Don't close down. This is like a lesson that you need to learn. Okay, you need to keep living life with an open, loving heart. And watch what comes to you then. Be ready for creative ideas or thoughts to sweep through you too. Okay, so spirit guides are really asking you to be brave. Be swift. Be a hero. That's the energy that you need to embrace. All right. Now we've got the queen of angels here as well. Okay. So queen of angels. Visionary. Watcher. Visionary. So play with the power of your imagination and positive thought. Create a vision for your life and project it through every cell of your body here, pile number two. Okay, so the queen of angel is a power, is, it's a powerful encounter with your imagination. Okay, a person, a situation, or ideas about to show up and impart their knowledge. Okay, transformation. It was in the watcher here as well. This is a well-timed arrival, so take notice. Address a situation with clear, positive thinking. All right, so you're going to have a whirlwind of something, but also, you know, um, addressing any situations and make, getting clarity on a situation is really good. New, infor uh, new information will not fit the fantasy you have in your head. So go with it and allow this material or the situation to clarify what is right for you. Okay? Justifications and analytical conclusion will be impossible to uphold if they do not reflect your true feelings. All right, your imagination and thoughts will feel expansive, exciting, maybe even scary. And that's all natural, it's okay. And it's absolutely true and authentic in your heart and mind. That's what I'm getting here. All right, so be a watcher, be a visionary. Pile number two. We're getting the three of stars here as well. Okay. So with the three of stars, illuminations and inspirations are fitting inward and outward, showing more avenues to explore and desires to satisfy. Okay. The three of stars declares that something you have put a great deal of time and energy into is about to manifest. Okay, because pile number two, you are manifestors. Whether it's a project, a promotion, a new business, a person, a love. This is an exciting period of expansion and growth in your life. Okay, there is a desire to experiment with new and different approaches to life that will extend your skills and comfort zone. So trust you will succeed at whatever you put your mind to. Be flexible. And let the moment decide your response. Okay? All right. We're getting appreciate this moment. Every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love. Speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change lives, including your own, pile number two. Wow. Okay, so challenging, circum challenging circumstances rarely make sense at the time when, it, when things happen or unfold, right? At that time and that moment, sometimes challenging things rarely make sense to us, right? And it's, it's important to face what is happening. So that way you can learn the lessons that you're meant to learn from the universe. Ask your spirit guides to show you what is important, important in this moment. Learn how to be. Try sitting in silence for a few minutes every day, pile number two. 
This will help you become conscious of your feelings. Take in the world around you. Instead of rushing through your day, tune into the sights and sounds around you. Look at everything for what it is. Look at the beauty in the world. It's important to practice being in the moment. Okay, so turn off your phone. That's important because how often are we on our phones? It seems like we're on it all the time. We're checking it constantly. Okay, so turn off your phone and find ways to be engaged in whatever is happening instead of looking for an escape, if that's what you're trying to do, right? Become aware of your thinking. Take note of what you are worrying about, then bring it back to yourself, to the moment. Bring yourself back into the moment and focus your attention on the present. Pile number two, appreciate the moment that you're in at that time. And really get off the phone. People need to get off the phone. I feel a phone is the biggest distraction, the biggest time wasting. I mean, it's really good too, but overall, I just feel like it's a negative thing. All right, so speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change lives, including your own. Okay, so a positive attitude works wonders in creating more love around you, pile number two. Allow yourself to really express your positivity. Try using only wholesome words when speaking to others or even about yourself. Be conscious of any language you may use out of habit and be willing to release this to create positive energy around you. Doing this will bring more love to you. Okay, often your exact words or actions won't be remembered. People tend to recall how something you said or did made them feel right? Taking a moment to choose words that are more loving can have such an amazing impact on others. Big impact. Even giving a compliment to somebody. That's huge. People remember that forever, especially if they don't get complimented often, right? Now thinking about how you convey your message will have a profound and loving impact on others. Treat conversations with others as an occasion to discover something original. Consider the other person's point of view and treat them with compassion. There will be many opportunities to state your case or impart your viewpoint. All right, pile number two. So appreciate the moment that you're in. Speak the language of love because that is the energy you want to, you know, put out into the world so it can come back in to you. This is the transformation that will change your life, pile number two. If this resonates for any one of you, please comment below. I would love to know. And thank you so much for watching. Until the next time. Pile number three, how are you? Those of you that chose Green Citrine, this is your reading. So we are going to find out what significant transformation needs to happen here. Okay, so let's get right into it, pile number three. All right, we're going to start with the moon cards first. So let's see what we get here. So I've already shuffled these. Um, I don't like to do it on camera while everyone's watching. I just feel like I don't want you to sit there and wait for me to shuffle things. Okay, so we're getting new moon in Scorpio. Go deeper. Second card is full moon in Scorpio. Breathe through the tension. Okay. Got it. So go deeper, pile number three. All right, so I feel like some of you are regaining control of a situation that cut you really deep. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. I feel like you move through your fears and now and and I feel like you can now see where this issue has come from okay and now isn't the time to gloss over the facts okay pile number three I know things cut deep this was a really tough situation 
but right now isn't the time to gloss over the facts. Okay, rather, it's time for you to face your darkest concerns and go deeper. All right, your situation may need to crumble and fall apart before it can be renewed. All right, spirit guides are asking that magic is called for. It's crucial to stay strong right now. Okay, it's time to reach for true communion with your partner. I feel like this is this is a relationship. Okay, fin financially, this is a blessed time to work with someone on a joint venture. It's time to release a grudge. All right, and if this is a relationship, if someone's going through a relationship where something's happened and it's cut deep, it's time to reach for true communion with your partner. Okay? And I feel like, go deeper. This card is uh, especially a good sign for matters related to sex, money, or an obsession you've been grappling with, okay? And also know that you, pile number three, are magic. Clear out negativity, okay, to supercharge your manifesting powers is what I'm getting here. Okay, so clear out any negativity around you at this time to supercharge your manifesting powers. I'm strongly getting that right now from spirit. Okay, so break through the tension, pile number three. Scorpio, it's all about that sexual tension and energy. Okay, so there's a strong sexual energy around you right now. And the good news is that sexual energy is very creative. Okay, so releasing it with a partner is really good, but also if you hold it in and use it to create, to do other things. Okay, after all, it leads to an act that creates humans, right? Creating. That's what that energy is. A tense situation could be about to boil over, so go carefully. Time spent outdoors will help you to calm your emotions, as well as increasing your general well-being. You need to find a balance between your emotions and your sensual side. Don't deny this part of yourself. Use the energy to create what you want. All right, pile number three, balance your ability to caress with your need to be caressed. Okay, so when you're emotionally overheated, you know, when where anyone is ever emotionally overheated, we end up focusing on what we don't want rather than on what we do want. So bear this in mind now and breathe. Okay, pile number three. See what else we're getting here. It's exciting. We've got some pent up energy here. Especially with the Scorpio, the moon and Scorpio. Wowzers. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. We are getting. Divine order, equilibrium, six of angels, transition, two of stars, boldness, the divine order, equilibrium. I'm not saying that right. Okay, so is, it is not the nature of the universe to judge what is wrong or right. Okay, the universe seeks harmony and constantly shifts into balance so that it can fulfill its potential, the universe, okay? So the divine order shifts your footing, so you must look at every aspect of your life from a fresh perspective, and that's in order to restore your balance, pile number three. So step back and weigh up all the sides, okay? Keep shifting your viewpoint until you feel centered, and only then make a decision, you can heal a situation by balancing the negatives with the positives. All right, an imbalance can be re reconciled through a loving response. 
You're being asked not to take something personally right now, but to step outside of a situation to see the bigger picture. All right, look at everything that's going on around you. Look at the look at the situation from the other person's point of view as well. All things come from love. The scales are finding a way to return to balance, to return to love. Okay, balance, honor, good intentions. And if you need help getting through this, seek some advice. All right. Six of angels. Transition is what we're getting here. All right. Six of angels. Transition. Okay, so. Let's see here. The six of angels ushers in change. Okay, there's a transition or a change coming through here for you. Pile number three. I feel like there are better things on the horizon for you. Even if you can't see them at the moment, know they are on their way. Okay? There is a move, metaphorically or physically, into the unknown. We don't know where you're going. You don't know where you're going. But trust. Trust. Take one stride at a time. But you have to take a step, pile number three. Let the momentum of each small step carry you further forward. This change is for the better. There's something good coming. So you have to take that step. Whether you're traveling, moving house, or journeying within, embrace this change to open yourself to the full range of possibility that are available to you, that are going to be presented to you, Paul number three. All right, that is what spirit guides are asking of you. All right, we've got the two of stars here as well. Boldness. Okay, step into your power and shine for all to see. Be empowered by your potential to create. Again, we're getting this creation because of that sexual energy that's coming through. And that is a potent energy. Okay, the two of stars pushes and pulls you to find balance and peace. If life is humming along, focus on staying in and creating more ease and contentment for yourself. If life is not giving you what you desire, this card indicates a clarifying moment or event that will point you towards your goals in a more focused way. So pile number three, take a breath. Step back from your life and see it from a more balanced perspective. Okay, nothing has gone wrong or right. You're exactly where you are. Nothing bad has happened. Nothing good has happened. You may have come the long way around, but the destination is still the same. There will be an opportunity to act on your desires. A restriction will fall away and reveal a new path for you. Okay. Boldness. Big word here for you. Bold. Alrighty. We are getting back to what you love. Reevaluate your desires. Okay, love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. Okay, pile number three. So reevaluate your desires. You can change what you are. You can change what you are doing at any time. You don't have to feel stuck, pile number three. Go back to what you feel and know. And more importantly, to what you love. Okay, so go back to what you know and go back. I'm stumbling on words. Go back to what you know and what you love. Ask your spirit guides to guide you with this process. They're there to help you. I feel a lot of people don't realize or don't believe that spirit guides are real and that they help guide you. They truly do. Okay, you can do anything you genuinely want to do. Take inventory. Look at where you got off track and find, and find what you need to actually get back on track. 
You're meant to live a life full of happiness. Pile number three, bliss, love, relationships, and wealth are your fate. This is your birthright. You can change your mind at any time and do something you have always longed to do. When you do something you love, you reconnect with your bliss. You reconnect to your bliss. Okay? So know that. Get back to what you truly love and desire. It'll make your ha life much more happier. Okay, love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. This is so true. So no matter what is going on in your life right now, Paul number three, love can endure all things. Take positive steps to create the change that is necessary to get you through this. Release your fear and recognize that this love will last. Take a step back. So you're better able to remember this truth. Love lasts. When differences arise, it is important to accept the person you are with. Accept the It's important to accept the person that you are. Okay, learn to compromise. Avoid taking a hard stand when it is not necessary. Okay, be aware of what you want in your relationships, in your life, at work, so things can return to a state of harmony. There are many things beyond your control, but you can control how you feel, pile number three. Okay, at times it's easier to walk away from a relationship or a position, especially if it feels tedious, demanding, or just too much work. Look at what you have done when faced with challenges in your relationships or situations. Do you have it? Do you give in to get through the conflict or do you take a stand? Okay, look at your past reactions and be willing to address any behaviors or aspects of yourself that are no benefit to you. Okay, so love endures no matter what situation, no matter any situation in the world. Whatever's thrown at you, love always endures. Always. All right, pile number three, that is your reading. If this resonates for you, please comment below. I would love to hear. And until the next time, pile number four, how are you? Thank you so much for choosing this rose quartz pile. This reading is for you. So we're going to find out what significant transformation you need in order to move ahead with your life. Okay, so let's get right into it here, okay? So I've got new moon in Cancer. Relax. And I'm getting full moon in Virgo. Take inspired action. All right, first you want to relax and then you want to take some inspired action. Okay, so pile number four, spirit guides are letting you know you need to relax okay this card holds divine feminine energy and drawing it strongly suggests that goddess energy is on your side okay so you need to relax you and your loved ones are being looked after if you're worrying about them they're being looked after pile number four whatever your heart holds dearest is safe and it's well all right this may not be the time to charge at what you want so think about whether you can approach it from another angle another perspective okay if someone in your life needs you nurture them Nurture and be gentle with yourself as well. Okay, not only with others, but also with yourself, pile number four. Your diet may need improving for your own well-being. Spirit guides are letting you know that right now. This is also a good omen card, okay, for family issues. 
house moves, sales, purchases, or someone or something that needs protection. Okay, so right now, spend time with people you love and who you love. Spend time with people you love and those that love you back. Okay, develop a thicker skin. Cherish what you have and you'll have more to cherish. Okay, so full moon in Virgo. Take inspired action, pile number four. This card is bursting with goddess energy. Okay, you've got two goddess energy cards here. All right, and it reminds you that while it's wonderful to have lofty dreams, you also need to ground those desires by taking inspired action, okay? Commune with the heavens, but take practical steps down here on earth. Practical steps. All right. Draw down the energies of the divine by doing something as seemingly trivial as making a bullet point list of what you need to do to manifest your dreams into reality. Write it all down. Take time, quiet time, to really sit down and make a list of what it is that you want. Your dreams, your desires. What do you want to bring into reality right now? Also know that you're 100% worthy of your dreams, okay? So ditch any self-criticism um, and ditch any kind of second-guessing yourself and others. You need to ditch all of that. And then find balance between dreaming big and dreaming practical, okay? It's also important to believe in your dreams, but you also need to take practical steps towards them. You have to take action, inspired action towards your dreams and goals. That is big. And the best time for you to work your magic is when your moon is in Virgo. Okay, pile number four. When the moon is in Virgo. Okay, next cards here. Okay, so we are getting the path, exploration, five of angels is withdrawal, page of angels, mysticism, hmm, the path. Okay, so there are many paths and many truths. Feel love resonate with you in each moment and step forward that you take. Practical step forward. You're always moving towards your dreams, pile number four, always. Okay? The path guides you to feel the movement of life. It is now time to get in touch with your inner driver, your, spirit, your spiritual director. Which, uh, which direction, pile number four, do you want to be heading in? Look where you're going. Instead of where you're not, right? Instead of where you're not. And listen to where your thoughts take you. Okay, so this card indicates that learning to discipline your inner, inner critic. And, well... What, well, what it indicates is that, that you are or you will soon be forging ahead to where you're, towards your dreams and your desires, okay? So then you are learning to discipline your inner critic and build confidence in your own wisdom. And the path becomes more clear, okay? This is like triumph of the mind. Five of angels. All right, so we're getting withdrawal. All right, five of angels here. So spiral inward and be with your sacred heart. Come to peace with the situation by letting it be. 
Letting go brings understanding into your life here. Pile number four. The five of angels wants you to free from a, wants to free you from a prison of your own observations and thinking. Okay, because I feel like some of you are almost like feeling trapped or stuck. So this card also indicates feelings of defeat, deflation, or revenge. Okay, views, ideas, and perceptions can be supportive friends or cruel companions. A belief that once supported you may now be a limitation. Okay, you chose to take on your beliefs. Thus, you can also choose to change them and set yourself free. Pile number four, every choice is an opportunity to exercise your free will. Okay, so withdraw into love and come to peace with where you are right now. All right. Page of Angels. Mysticism. Okay. Mysticism. Hmm. All right, so the caterpillar naturally evolves into the butterfly. What is your natural successor? Pile number four. Okay, so the page of angels pulls the energy of transformation towards you. Expand your mind to new thoughts and solutions. Learn something new. Have fun and test out the truth of your ideas. You're filled with creative innovation. A plan will be brought to fruition for you. But right now, it is time to adapt and consider a change of mind regarding the conditions around you to ensure a smooth path. Okay? Pile number four, be aware of your thoughts. Be aware of your motivations and your intentions. Change any opinion that make you feel uncomfortable. Choose to use words that are aligned to the outcome you desire and focus on them. Okay? Transformation will come through mindfulness. All right, that is the message through the page of angels, mysticism. Two more cards here. Let's see what these cards have to say for you. All right, so we are getting demonstrate love. Okay, find out what is important to those who love and act on it. Find out what is important to those you love and act on it. Be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show you care. Pile number four. So demonstrate love, pile number four. People often give clues about what is important to them. Okay, you can show your affection for someone by listening when they have a lot to say. Or going for a walk with them helping with chores or planning a vacation together. Paying attention to what others are telling you can help you understand how, they, how to love them better. I feel love is one of the biggest things here for all the readings. Everyone's reading all the piles. Okay, so create time for someone in your life no matter what you have in your schedule. Make finding moments for those you love a priority in your life. Pile number four, those who love you understand you're busy. So when you change your day for someone, it does not go unnoticed. There's so many ways to show someone you're thinking of them. Send flowers, send them an email, shoot them a text, make a phone call. There's so many ways. Buy them a coffee, buy someone a coffee. Go for lunch with somebody. Preparing a favorite meal for someone or even running an errand all alleviate stress and are simple ways of showing your love. We've got be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show you care. Okay, so some extra support and care is all that is ever needed for someone. Just that little extra support. Encourage someone and recognize the effort they are making in your life. Just a little simple kind word or kind sentence just to show some gratitude, right? 
being supportive will help create harmony and peace. Just as spirit guides support us in all things, be willing to support the ones that you love, pile number four. Find something that interests you, um, you, well, you, your partner, your friend, your sibling, your coworker, whoever is in your life right now. Find something that interests them. Whether they're passionate about a charitable cause, a sport, or a hobby, take an interest in their endeavors. Make a point of showing up and helping out. Is It's easy to avoid taking part because you don't share an interest or pastime. Learn about why someone is so passionate about what they're doing, right? Ask. Even just to listen to them tell you the whole story about it. Okay, this type of support can really mean the world to somebody and foster better communication and appreciation. With time, this will be, well, with time, this might be something you enjoy too, right? You never know. You just never, ever know. All right. So find ways to be more encouraging to the important individuals in your life. It is always reassuring to know there is someone who supports you, who cares for you. All right, pile number four, that is your message. If this resonates, please comment below and let me know. I would love to hear all about it. Thank you so much for watching.